Well, good morning on Tuesday, December 16th from Snake Mountain Boat Works. We thought we would catch you up on where we are with the Penyan Captivator project. We were hoping that we would be able to simply repair these planks, but they're just too far gone. So we are releasing them and it's good that we are because we've discovered that neither the outer nor the inner layer of planking is well fastened to the ribs. And then, if you remember an earlier video, get ready for this, that we found a fair amount of Bondo in the bottom board of the transom. Well, John's had at it, so I thought I'd let him give you well, a sense of what he's discovered. What I have discovered is that in taking this bottom transom board off, you find that the bondo that had been put on by the previous person fixing the boat um, held quite a bit of water in, and uh, the board has held on pretty good. Lots of nails, lots of glue. It's pretty much coming off with a chisel. And, uh, what I'm finding is some of the inner framing is actually real soft and uh, it's been repaired from the inside out before and there's Bondo coming through. They worked on the inside of the transom board before and there's Bondo in there and then they must have replaced some of the woodwork because some of it is pretty solid and then there's some of it that's pretty soft. You stick a chisel right through it. I think we've got a little bit more rot in there than we wanted to find. Um, we won't really know the story until this transom board is off. Yeah, we were we were hoping to repair this with a series of Dutchman patches. Uh, the Dutchman patch is going to be the entire board, and then John deconstructed this old Dutchman patch that we made reference to earlier, and. What we've discovered is if you look, well, you can point it out, John. Yeah, it's all, it's all this, rotten. This is rotten right in here. So we're going to take this Dutchman patch, bring it right from where they put it all the way out to the outside edge and uh, get rid of a little more of the rot that's there. And that, of course, is above, or at least most of that is above the... Uh, water lines so it will be finished bright and we'll take care to do a, a really good job and it's interesting again the top transom board which is now the bottom as we look at it because the boat's upside down is uh, mahogany but the bottom transom board is cedar we're not sure whether it's red or white cedar but to make cedar rot has to requires that you keep it wet for a long long time so we're continuing to work. We're going to remove this entire plank. And you'll see why this is a very good thing. Because every one of these fasteners that I'm pulling out, they're, they're ring shank nails. Uh, we were worried that they would be uh, the old kind of clinch nails, but they, they're coming right out. This, this little tool, this little cat's paw, uh, which is a, ours just happens to be an unpronounceable name, but any, any little cat's ball like this and a hammer and a lot of patience uh, is really the tool to use to pull these up. So we'll keep working and we'll be back to you soon. Thank you so much from Snake Mountain Boat.